Hello, welcome to my video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create uh, animations from Earth Engine data and how to add uh, animated text uh, to the animations. So in order to follow this tutorial, you will need to install the GEMAP Python package. If you have not done so, you can follow my other tutorials on how to install the package. And then you can um, clone the GitHub repo to download the uh, example notebooks. So it's under here, examples, notebooks, um, number 16. So I already have this one here on my computer. And all I need to do is just to open Jupyter Notebook. Then it should open a Jupyter Notebook on your browser. So let's navigate to the folder, examples, notebooks, and number 16. <coughs> so I'm going to provide you two examples. Uh, the first one is how to add uh, animated text to an existing uh, GIF. Assume that you already have the GIF on your computer and how to uh, add text. If you don't have any GIF uh, uh, animations, you can also uh, create one from Earth Engine data. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Once you open the notebook, then you can uh, just execute the code block. So the first one here is to import the GEMAP package. And uh, because some of the functions are just uh, added to the, the package and it might not be available through Conda or pip store, a pip install you might need to update the package. So all you need to do is just uncommon this one, uh, control slash on your uh, keyboard, and then just execute this line of code uh, so that you will have the latest version um, on your computer. It might take some time, depends on your uh, internet speed, but should not take very long. And let's take a look. Okay, so it's done. And you only need to restart the kernel because after update the package, you, you, it's better to restart the kernel and uh, start all over again. So let's restart and then execute again. So now we no longer need this one. We can comment up. So first of all, let's see how we can add animated text to an existing GIF. So the existing one um, is already uh, on the computer here. So uh, you can download it one from my GitHub repo. So it's under examples, data, and animation GIF. So this is the one that are uh, showing the uh, urban growth in Las Vegas. And so I just input the file path and this is the output that I'm going to save when uh, the new animation uh, with text is created. So first of all, just execute this one and then you can directly call the function called show image. And inside here is just passing the file path for this image and it will show you what it looks like. So next, let's take look at how we can add animations to the text. And this is the function um, that I developed. You, you are interested in the source code, you can go to uh, my GitHub repo and uh, GE map. And then under here and here, and you can click uh, control add text to GF. So this is the, the source code behind uh, the script. So you can take a look at in here. Uh, I think it's 150 lines of code, so uh, took me hours to write this one. So let's talk about the parameters. Uh, all you need to do is just hit the uh, shift tab on your keyboard and you will bring up the parameter list. So you see here, you can customize the input GF, this is the input animation and the output. So the X, Y is uh, where do you want to put the text, right? It, it can be absolute. Um, the row and column numbers, you, you can also you can also use a percentage. So for example, you want the upper left corner to be maybe 5% of the uh, width and 5% of the, the height. So it's the upper left corner. Uh, this is the lowest and this is the uh, largest. The text sequence is like what text you want to put on each uh, animation, each frame. And uh, I'm going to show you examples later. So it can be a number, it can be a string, you know, it can also be a list. Also, you can change the phone type. So by default, it's going to use this one. Uh, this one comes from the package. I, just, I put it inside the package. So by default, uh, it's going to use this one. And uh, you can also customize to any other phone type. Uh, I will show you later. And you can change the phone size. You can change the color. So you can just write black, white, or blue, anything. Or you can be RGB, like uh, three digit 
uh, the, the integer numbers and the duration is how long you want each frame. So this is 100 millisecond. So 100 millisecond, that means it's 0.1 second. Um, the larger the number, the um, the longer it's going to take for each one. So it's slower. Uh, the smaller number, the animation is faster. So the loop is whether do you want to loop forever? If it's zero, that means it's looping forever. If you only just want the animation to just uh, show once, then you just put into one or two, it can be any number. So here you can see more uh, text in here about the uh, information. Okay, so there's just quickly just run the default one and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, uh, image PIL is not um, installed. So let's uh, come back to here and open the kernel. So, Honda uh, exit activate and GE and then pick install. Uh, it's Coco Pillow. I, I, I probably should have this one in the dependency so that uh, you don't have to worry about this one. Uh, so after that, we need to again restart the kernel. Because I tested it on my other computer, it works fine. So it looks like this one, we need to redo it. Okay, so let's rerun this one. All in sale, one all above. And hopefully this time it comes up okay so it's fixed and let's look at this one so the input uh this is the one above right the output is where we're going to save the file so it's under my uh computer right now here uh downloads right so you see this one output .gif. and so this is five percent so that means the upper left corner is five percent to the width uh the, the, the width and five percent to the height you can customize the number uh in any way you want. So text sequence, I put uh, 1984, you can also put text 1984. So by default, it will automatically increase by one. So for each frame, um, and then you can change the phone size, you can change the color. So the color is hex call, and this is the duration for each animation. So if you want to customize, for example, I want to put near the center, this is 45, maybe the other one uh, also maybe 45. And you can change the text uh, to whatever you want. So, for example, you can change to, um, let's say, 2000. But it, because this is corresponding to the year, so you want to make sure that uh, you're using it correctly. And for the color, you can change the color. For example, you can change to uh, maybe just black color or, or, or any color you like. You can also put RGB, uh, three integer numbers. And for the duration, for in this case, I can put the duration, for example, 1,000. 1,000 means one second. So uh, for each image, for each frame, it's going to last for one, one second before it goes to the next one. So we can try it again, <clears throat> and let's see what happened. Now it becomes 2,000, 2,001, 2,002, right? Uh, it's getting slower. So you can change to maybe a uh, different color. You can change the duration to faster, for example, 10 milliseconds. And you can also change the phone size if you want. I can change to 40. And for the text sequence, I can go back to maybe 1984. Um, it's up to you. So, and then just hit one again. And you get the new image, right? So, depends on how you want to customize. You want to put a center, you just adjust these two numbers. You can also put absolute, absolute number, for example, 10. <clears throat> so, this is by pixel location, uh, 10 to 10. So, XQ. So you're going to be upper left corner, okay? So maybe um, 100 and 30. Let's take a look. Like 100 is like uh, X and Y. So this the, the coordinates on the upper left corner. Okay, so that's how you add the animation text. But sometimes you might also want to add, <clears throat> for example, um, you want to add text to the uh, a, a name, for example, location to the bottom or anywhere is is just the same. You just um, you just execute add text again. And uh, so in this case, I'm going to add text. Uh, for example, Las Vegas, and uh, I'm going to put the location thirty percent. So you'll be thirty percent x here and y eighty five percent. So we'll be somewhere here, somewhere here at the bottom, and uh, this just execute. So in here, the sequence, I only put one string, and because you have multiple images, it's going to put the multiple times for each image, so it, it looks the same. Uh, so let's take a look at this XQ. 
so for this one because uh i think right now it's not working properly it's because i uh updated one uh recently so let me go back quickly to here and go to my package oh i haven't pushed to the github yet so you might uh, you can uh, you can you can um, update later. I haven't pushed the the source code to the GitHub, yet, so it's not working at this moment. But um, let me let me quickly uh, overwrite the source code. Uh, one second. Okay, I'm back. So I just fixed the issue. Uh, later, when you uh, install the package, you should be able to uh, use this one. Okay, so I just updated uh, the GitHub uh, repo. And you can see here, you can add uh, animation, you can also add uh, location uh, text to here. Okay, and sometimes if you want to change the font type, you can do that as well, because by default, it's using uh, the, the, the font that I provided in the package, but you are more than welcome to use any uh, fonts or install on your computer. So all you need to do is just to figure out what's available uh, on your computer. So you just call this function called gmap.system uh, fonts. Then you just execute. You should be able to uh, print out uh, all the fonts available, right? So this is a list of all the information, all the uh, fonts already installed on your computer. And then you can pick anyone um, to display. So for example, let's do it again uh, one more time. So we're going to add the animation text. But this time, I'm going to change the phone type to something else. So if you see from here, and uh, all you need to do is just to scroll down and take a look at uh, what's available. So if you go up, right, there are a lot of uh, phones in here. So maybe let's try this one. But it depends. Some of those might not work because uh, it's, it varies from computer to computer. So you just want, need to have a trial and error. So this one, this one, see what happens. Okay, so this one doesn't come up. And uh, let's try another one. You need the name, .ttf. If it doesn't work, then you need to try it. Okay, this one works. So you will see here, you can change the phone. And uh, depends on the uh, Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, uh, it's all different. But you can certainly customize the phone type. You can also download one from the internet. And then from the phone type here, you just pass in the absolute pass, for example, Windows C, and then whatever you want to put. Uh, if, it is, if you just put a name, it will search your system directory to find the phone. But if you provide the direct file pass, you will just use the phone that you use. So you can uh, customize it. OK, so that's how you uh, create an animation uh, to um, the to an existing uh, GF. You can also create an, a, a GF from uh, um, Earth Engine data. So in here, um, you can use this example, for, for example, um, you can create an image collection and then define these video uh, parameters. And then, so you can use my uh, package to automatically download um, the video, the GF to your computer. So this is the example from uh, here, you can click the link and then come to here. So this is exactly where this one is from. So it's from here all the way. You can see the left side, all right side here, video sum. And it comes from here. So this is the same example, but I convert it to Python. And then all we need to do, rather than using the, the function here to print out the link, and then you need to click so I automate the process. All you need to do is to specify the file path where you want to save the animation and then call the function called download EE video, passing the visual collection, uh, image collection, and then the video parameters, like how you define uh, um, the how many seconds, the ROI, something like that, and then save to this one. So let's take a look. Hit one. It's going to generate the uh, uh, URL. So this is where you used to be. You need to click and download right click and then download as a, a GF. So I automate the process. You don't need to do it. All you need to do is just wait. And uh, you should have this one shortly on your um, downloads folder. OK, so it's done. And you see here the file is saved to here, the temperature.gf. Then I can hit one to show the, 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 the animation, right? So without text, 
So next, you can quickly generate a text sequence. All you need to do is just know you can you need to create a list. So in this case, I'm going to create a list of uh, hourly from uh, uh, zero all the way to 23. So if you see from here, this one line of code, you can create a, a hourly format just like this. And then you can pass this one later into the, um, the animation, the text sequence. So again, I'm going to add text to uh, the GIF. And at first, I need to start set the output uh, uh, location. So I'm going to change it to output2.gif. And then, so here it is the input file, output, and the location where I'm going to put the text. Uh, so the text sequence comes from here because this one has 24 frames. So it's like 24 hours. And I change the phone size. You can also change the color. So if you take a look in here, so this is the first line. And later, uh, next, I'm going to add another label at the bottom. So I'm going to have a label here at the bottom. Um, I, I can show this one first, just uh, just image, right? Now you have the hourly sequence here, uh, upper left corner. But you might want to add that, for example, what did, what does this represent? Or is it uh, temperature or is it something else? So, and this time, because this is already output once, so we are going to add text based on this one. So make sure that you grab this one, put in here. Um, if you start from the beginning, then you don't have this one. So you, you just build on top of the, the animation we created. And then we're going to add text here to the, um, so X 32% and then Y 92% uh, because the text has some length. So you want to make sure that it is not 50, 50. And then the text sequence and the font color. So for example, here, just uh, you want to use white color, black color, any color you like. And then run again. So now you have it. Okay, so you have the text in here, the location, you can put any text you want. And then here's the animation numbers. Okay, so that's all for this uh, tutorial. If you enjoyed the tutorial, uh, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.